Good morning, everyone. Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. It is Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. The devotional today is entitled, Align Yourself with Righteousness. And uh, I wrote it uh, several days ago before the uh, elections. And um, today brings us to the day after the elections. But it also, there's a lot going on still around the world. Uh, the war in the Ukraine that started uh, in February of 2022 is still waging or raging. There are lots more rumors of war going around uh, the world. As you could see, militaries, including the United States military, being placed uh, and sent all around the world, including just recently uh, to Haiti, where uh, many people were killed uh, in Haiti uh, yesterday. Uh, in a battle or some kind of battle over uh, fuel oil uh, or a fuel oil plant or a gas plant. Um, so you're seeing upheaval around the world, including uh, the Pope, Pope Francis, the current Pope, uh, in the process of bringing together all the world's religions. And I think I talked about this in other videos, or at least I mentioned it in other videos, and they're formally adopting a human fraternity document, or it's actually already been adopted. Uh, I'll put links in my YouTube in this video as uh, that'll go on my YouTube page, where you could go on and read the Vatican document on this, which I have read, and there's other documents on this, and there's basically a process that's going on, and I believe this Sunday's going to be more uh, of this at this uh, summit that's being held. Uh, for all the world, but you're seeing what is shaping a one world religious system. And the Bible talks about this. It's called the beast system. It's a one world religion. Ultimately, the Antichrist will have you, uh, will demand in the end worship of himself. Uh, but before that takes place, there's going to be a fusion of these systems, these world uh, religions, these man made uh, religious systems coming together that bring together every single uh, type of religion, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, etc. And so many of the world's religious leaders are signing on to this. And again, scripture talks about this. Um, so I believe uh, it's a critical time in world history that we are in right now. Uh, it's, paramount, it's of paramount importance that people seek direction and guidance from the Almighty and from the word of Yahuwah, okay? Not man-made doctrine, doctrines. Many of, several of my recent videos have talked about doctrines of men, teachings of men. There are 5,000 plus denominations uh, in the United States. Um, don't align yourself with a denomination. Align yourself with the word of Yahuwah, the word of God, okay? The Holy Bible, the word holy is set apart. You are to be set apart from man-made systems, doctrines, whatever that come down the pike, or else you're going to be sucked into uh, this one world religious system, which most of the world will be uh, aligning itself with. Uh, Jesus was very uh, adamant about that, that most of the world follows this broad road, this wide path uh, that leads to destruction. Spiritual warfare is raging, and many people around the world are in a battle for their souls. Isn't that the truth? As evident in uh, this big hoopla for uh, the recent elections that just took place, which I'm sure all the votes are not counted as of yet, but I don't get involved in voting because man-made uh, systems, and I'm not dependent on man to lead me on the path of righteousness. I am dependent on the Almighty to lead me on the path to righteousness. Man-made man -made systems and governments are turning themselves over to the beast system. Yes, they are. Democrat, Republican, call them what you will, align yourself with either one of them, you'll be sucked into the same, uh, down the same funnel uh, that most of the world will be uh, sucked down. In recent devotional studies I've posted, I talked about how Satan is the god of this world. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4.4 4 talks about that. I've done a recent 
video on that. Today we're looking at people who have received a great delusion. And we'll look at some scripture uh, that I'm going to read from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, um, where Yahuwah himself talks about this. Okay, The Apostle Paul writes it, but the word is given by the Spirit to the Apostle Paul to pen down and to warn us on what is going to take place. All this is because they refuse to believe the truth and have delighted in unrighteousness. And we'll look at that closer. Many people today refuse to repent and to change and to align themselves with this word that's in here. And they follow a mixture, many, of the word and man's doctrine together, which is leading them to uh, destruction. The prophet Zephaniah in chapter 2, verse 3 says this, Seek Yahuwah, this is from the uh, Hallelujah Scriptures, which are, which are right here behind me. Seek Yahuwah, all you meek ones of the earth, who have done His right ruling. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, if so be that you are hidden in the day of the wrath of Yahuwah. You see, friends, there's a day coming where the wrath of Yahuwah, or the wrath of God, um, is going to take place and you do not want to be on the wrong side of that wrath because that wrath means the lake of fire uh, for you. Right ruling signifies following Yah's commandments. I talk about that in many of my videos. His right ruling are His laws, His Torah, His regulations if you will. If you are putting those aside or think those are ca have been cast aside, you are very much leading down the path uh, to destruction. Um, being in a covenant relationship with Him is what you want to be. Okay, Remember, a covenant is a binding agreement between two parties. It is a two-party solemn agreement bound by oath. I'm reading uh, some scripture in 1 Kings on the life of King Solomon. And all of these riches, this wisdom that was bestowed on him, was given to him by the Almighty with the caveat or the covenant that he follow all that his father David followed. Right rulings, laws, Torah, covenant. Okay, it was a two-party agreement. If Solomon broke from that, then Solomon would be chastised uh, for that, and he was. In essence, when we look at our Bibles and we see the Old Testament or the New Testament written, um, that's really not the word uh, that should be used. It's a renewed covenant. The New Testament is the renewed covenant. A testament is a written instrument by which someone has disposed of his estate. Believers ought to be in covenant relationship with Yahuwah. You need to make sure you're in covenant with Him. Okay? With Yahusha, Jesus, being the mediator. Hebrews 8.6 Hebrews 9.15, Hebrews 12.24. You could look those up for yourself. Yahusha Jesus is the mediator of the renewed covenant. Yahusha has solemnly instituted the new covenant, and we see this in Matthew 26, verse 28. For this is the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. When Yahusha returns, this will become a physical reality. Okay? At that point, His laws will be binding to all as He will be king over all the earth. Revelation 11.15, Daniel 2.44, Daniel 7.18-27, Isaiah 24.23, Micah 4.7, and Zechariah 14.4-21. Like many erroneous things, we have inherited much of from Rome, and it's not a coincidence that Rome is leading uh, the charge of the New World Order. Um, the word testament gives the wrong impression of receiving only. It contributes to erroneous teachings of only believe, grace only, good works are necessary, love only. Okay, Love is not the rule whereby we must live. Love is the motive for keeping the law. We do it in love for Him. We follow the covenant relationship that is on our hearts, that is impressed on our hearts, 
in the renewed covenant. It's a fallacy to think that love according to the world is the same as love according to the scriptures. We see now the world going, uh, in essence, down the toilet because their view on love is disgraceful, distasteful, and it's of Satan. Um, scriptural love is qualified. It is specified by the stipulations of the law. You could do more to educate yourself on that. There's a book called Come Out of Her, My People by C.J. Coster that I've talked about. I'll put a link to it also in the description box. This brings me to my main points today. To all who profess to be believers, to be born again, and in a covenant relationship with Yahuwah through His Son, Yahusha, not people who believe about Jesus, which there are many or most people. Most people believe about Jesus. They don't believe in Jesus. They're not in covenant relationship with Him. And that's what Jesus talks about in Matthew chapter 7 where He says, away from me, all of you. He's talking about people who believed about Him, not people who believed in Him or in a covenant relationship to Him. There's a great deception taking place and in fact has been going on for many, many years. What we are witnessing today is the final pieces being put into place as the world is ready for the beast system. And we're looking at that in what the Pope has been uh, pushing. In 2 Thessalonians 2, uh, 9 through 12, uh, the Apostle Paul pens this, the coming, this is the coming of Yahushua Jesus, is against the working of Satan with all his power and signs and wonders of falsehood. Satan has powers and wonders and signs of falsehood that most people are following today. And with all deceit of unrighteousness in those perishing. Okay, Many are clinging to these false promises because they did not receive the love of the truth in order for them to be saved. Did you hear that? They did not receive the love of the truth in order for them to be saved. And for this reason, Elohim, the Almighty, God, sends them a working of delusion for them to believe the falsehood. You are sent a delusion directly from Yahuwah if you continue to believe this uh, satanic teachings that are going on today and these satanic uh, systems being put into place today by world governments. If you're clinging to those, believing to those, following those, you are sent this delusion to believe the falsehood in order that all be judged who do not believe the truth but have delighted in unrighteousness. You're delighting in unrighteousness if you're aligning yourselves with that. Okay? Scripture is clear that most people will believe and accept this delusion for most have been conditioned just like a great athlete conditions his body um, to believe this falsehood. Just like we witnessed and continue to witness most people following everything their leaders tell them, including placing experimental medicines into their bodies that have been untested and pushed and forced upon the world and look at the outcome now that's happening. People are looking for amnesty, people are coming forward in the military, in all walks of life and trying to get uh, redress this great deception that has been placed on them by man by telling them, we'll, we'll heal you, we have the remedy, uh, follow us, take our medicine, and you'll live a long and happy life, which is the furthest thing uh, from the truth, and that's the furthest thing taking place. Not once, but multiple times they are following this, and they will continue to follow these man-made um, medical systems that are being pushed. Soon you will see this one world religion uh, peddled to the masses and I say to you stay strong brothers and sisters uh, in Romans 16 19 through 20 the Apostle Paul says your obedience indeed is reported to all therefore I rejoice concerning you but I want you to be wise indeed as to the good and simple toward the evil and the Elohim of peace shall crush Satan under your feet Shortly, the favor of Adon, Yahusha HaMashiach be with you. Amen. That's my video today, guys. Cling to righteousness. Anthony, signing off.